Good morning. My phone's making noises. And you are. No, can't remember. I do remember who I am. Only just. <laughs> We've had colds and coughs and grumpy children and grumpy mummies and arguments between Paul and I, which is incredibly rare, but it does happen. Bombshells dropped by teenagers, nothing bad. It's just been, and then all the usual work and blah, 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 blah. My cleaners have abandoned me. It's all just been crazy in a completely mundane and boring kind of a way. But here I am. I've done something really bad. I had an appointment at the hygienist. I didn't want to go. I should have just rang up and cancelled, but I didn't. I just decided not to go. And that's really bad. Really, 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 really bad. Because somebody else could have had that appointment. I know it's not the NHS, it's private, so at least I'm not wasting taxpayers' money, but it's just bad form. And to make matters worse, I was sitting trying to work out what to do, mulling it over and worrying about it, knowing that I should do the right thing, and I still did the wrong thing. I'm a really evil person. And because I'm so evil and feel so bad about myself, I have to eat chocolate croissants to kind of regroup. So I'm gonna go and do that now. Whilst I am actually being a bit flippant, I do genuinely feel tremendous guilt and I will continue to carry this blanket of guilt around with me for some time to come because that is just my way. I should have been Catholic. I'm not, but I should have been. I'd have been really good at it. I've had a nice little bit of downtime a couple of hours when I should have been tidying, but I didn't. I uh, have managed to secure hopefully a new cleaner. She's going to come around next week and uh, hopefully rescue me again. Anyone out there that does things like that for people that that is their job, I hope you don't undervalue yourself because to those of us that don't clean, choose not to clean. It's it's life-saving, it really is for me. I, f I genuinely feel like it's a, um, a tremendous weight off of my mind. Uh, I accept I'm very fortunate to be in a position where I can lift that weight off of my mind, but I am. Therefore, I hope you know that you're valued and that you, you're important. Anyway, back to school. Got another video on project to do. I'll tell you about that later. Then Mrs Carmichael came in. She looked very much moved and suddenly took Sarah in her arms and kissed her. Oh, you look bewildered, poor child, she said, and it is not to be wondered at. Sarah could only think of one thing. Was he? She said with a glance towards the closed door of the library. Was he my papa's wicked friend? Into bed. Okay. Oh, um, I read that, I heard that yesterday when Dad read it to Dorothy. Oh, well, I want to read it again. Okay. The Fantastic Flying Books of Mr. Morris Lessmore. Morris Lessmore loved words. He loved stories. He loved books. His life was a book of his own writing. What is the dog doing? What? Can you move your legs, please, Bertie? Waited up for Felicity to get home from babysitting. I say waiting up as though it's midnight. It's not, it's only half past 10. <laughs> uh, but she's home safe and sound now, so I am going to go off to bed. I haven't told you about my filming at school. I haven't told you what's been going on in Luke's life and what he has been up to today. 
I haven't updated you on how the dog is. I've just noticed that the, um, all the paraphernalia on my side in the kitchen that really ought to be tidied away and looking all slick and clean but never is, has created this sort of skyline cityscape of shadows on the wall and <laughs> it looks rather spectacular. I can find a positive even amidst the mess. Yeah, it's my cityscape. Should we go to bed, lampshade head? Yeah. We'll go to bed. Good night. Mm -hmm.